Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be talking about the TWAB that came out recently. And I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's really long. And me reading this on top of my rant is too long. So TLDR, <laughs> Bungie fucked up. They fucked up the transmog system. And not only did they fuck up, they're pricing up prices to other things. So let's get into it. First and foremost, you are going to want to know that... There is not one, there is not two, there is three material that you have to grind in order to get your universal armor ornament. The first one is Synth Strand, which you just get from defeating enemies. The second one is Synth Cord. You spend Synth Strand on bounties to earn Synth Cord, and then convert Synth Cord at the loom at the tower into Synth Weave, and then use Synth Weave to convert an unlocked armor piece. Essentially means Synth Strand, then Synth Cord, and then Synth Weave. It's ridiculous, just giving me the synth weed, too many steps, what the fuck. Not only that, you can earn these from a bunch of stuff, Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit, Destinations, and Raids and Dungeons. So, thank you, but don't make me earn so many, that's really it. Uh, what else? The menu for the transmog looks really cool, here it is. It's, I like it a lot, it looks very clean, and I'm really liking it. But unfortunately, again, like I said, they kind of fucked up how we how we can earn as many uh, stuff we can earn. So essentially what I mean by that is you can only earn, what is it, 10 synth weave per class. Now, I'm hoping this is not account bound so that way I can earn some for my other classes as well. But now that I think about it, is it, sh I, it doesn't matter. So essentially... You can only earn 10, which is two armor sets. So in the whole season of like, let's say season of the transmog, not next season. This is another season. So because I say that because next season we'll be able to earn 20, which means you can transmog four armor pieces per class. But after next season, that season, you'll only be able to transmog two. Let me read it. To celebrate the introduction of armor synthesis in season of Redacted, which is next season, players may earn 10 additional synth weave per class through the introductory experience in total. In total, during season of Redacted, players may earn up to 20 synth weave per class, which can either be used to convert four full sets to ornaments or 20 specific items. So, I say that because players may may earn up to 10 synth weave per class per season except in season of the redacted which i just explained so you're limited now you can only earn two armor sets per class and i i just don't understand why bungie like why is what i would say normally but i know what the fuck they were doing and let's go down to the part that really angers me so Eververse, <laughs> you already know, Eververse will also offer synth weave templates for direct purchase through the Guardian appearance screen. Players may either purchase a single synth weave or they may purchase five piece bundles. Synth weave template, one token equals 300 bright dust or 300 silver. Remember, let's remember, Bungie does not sell anything lower than 500 silver. So it's really 500 uh, or $5. You'll have 200 silver left, but what can you really do with 200 silver left? So again, uh, synth weave template bundle, five tokens is $10. And the scummiest part for me, the part that really irks me is the bottom part. Where, for reference, universal ornament, you know, universal armor ornaments bundles cost 1500 silver. Thank you for saving me $5, dog. Thank you so much for saving me $5 from a bundle that costs ten dollars so that way i can transmog an armor piece that i already fucking own last but not least they talk about shaders which essentially means that <sighs> they're one-time use now so what i mean by that is once you buy it you can buy it from your collections and you only need to buy one and you can apply it to every armor set or you can apply so it's really cool because you can apply like right here in this screen it'll show you that you can shader all your pieces or you can actually shader uh, they'll have a button where it says shader all and it shaders everything which is really cool 
The, the only negative thing about this is the fact that they're hiking up the Bright Dust for, uh, for shaders now. So instead of 400, it's 300 Bright Dust now, which makes me giggle because uh, <laughs> the weeklies that the Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit dudes give you don't even equate to 300 Bright Dust. So they give you 200 so you still need 100 more bright dust to just buy one shader which is hilarious to me it's fucking hilarious uh and that's pretty much it that's the tldr they really fucked it up a few things that i did not know is the fact that uh there's a few things you can't transmog currently like the year one ornaments so the ornaments from the vanguard crucible iron banner faction rallies prestige raids and trials of the nine stuff you cannot transmog they are working on it not only that, but the 2018 and 2019 Souls of Heroes events will be available for armor synthesis. However, due to an issue with the 2018 and 2019 glows, cannot be socketed. So, the people who spent money on the glows like I did, we cannot, we, we cannot use the glows that we spent fucking money on it. Even though the 2019 set looks so fucking crispy, you can't use those anymore because... I just can't. I don't even know if they're working on a fix because they don't even say anything. So the people who spent money on that, like me, RIP dog, because that's just wasted money at this point. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's the TLDR. I did not want to read the whole thing because it's just them. It's it's there's way too many words for them just essentially saying we're fucking the player community. Uh, hi, yeah, we're fucking you guys over because. Not only are we going to make this uh, this uh, transmox fucking convoluted as fuck, but you can only get two armor sets per season. But next season, we'll give you four because it's... Why not? It's our tree. But after that, it's only two per class. And I don't even know if, like... Let's say you have a class that you don't like, like a warlock. Mine's my warlock. I, I don't think I'm ever going to have her have any transmog stuff. Can I earn the synth weave on her and then use it on other classes? Because if that's the case, I'll have three sets that I can transmog next season. Or, well, seasons after next season. But yeah, I wanted to make this video shorter because the lat like, I did this video, I read the whole thing, and it was like 20 fucking minutes long. I was like, fuck this, dude, I'm not doing this shit. I'm literally just gonna tell you, like, what's in the twab. And essentially, uh, aside from the theatrics, everything I said was true. Uh, you're gonna have three material that you have to grind for. You can earn those three materials from Vanguard, Crucible, Gamma, Destination, and Raids and Dungeons. They're all different and varied, so don't think all of them are going to be the same thing. They're all different, which is really cool. Um, you only get two armor sets that you can uh, transmog, which equates to 10 synth weave. So, <clears throat> like I said, next season you'll be able to do 20 because it's coming out next season. But after that, it's only 10 synth weave per class. Uh, you can't do any of the year one ornaments. You can't do any of the 2018 to 2019 sources of heroes. Uh, the Eververse is selling you templates for one is 300, 300 silver and five tokens is 1000, which is $10. And it's just really scummy when they, if, when they do that, because you know that the synth weave template bundle is not going to be under the, the limitation. So once you hit that limitation, they're just going to expect people to start buying the silver template or the synth weave templates because, again, you can't really do anything after the limitation, which is really scummy. This is like there. There's other games that treat transmog so much better, like World of Warcraft. All you have to do is spend it on gold. And you might be thinking, well, gold might be silver, right? No, gold is the equivalent of legendary shards. That's it. Now, the amount of gold you have to spend is different because in World of Warcraft, the gold spending is a little bit different than in, and then in Destiny 2, but it still equates to like, I can transmog stuff way easier in World of Warcraft because all I have to do is play the game and I'll get some, I'll get it eventually, even if I'm not doing bounties or whatever the fuck they have. Uh, even like, oh my God, Warframe, let's not talk about Warframe. Warframe does their transmog way better too. Uh, Path of Exile, even though they have a lot of stuff in the store, they still have a better transmog because there's still stuff you can earn in game, and from that you can actually transmog that. There's just there's so many games that treat transmog as a like, as kind of like a here here this is for the player, don't touch it. 
Destiny's just like, this is for me. I'm gonna fuck it up. So that's pretty much it. If you guys thought this was like not fair to the actual TWAB, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't care if it's fair to the TWAB because Bungie's not being fair to us. Like this, some of the shit that they've been telling us Especially in this time, it's just kind of like, why, dog? Like, why do you continue to fuck us over, bro? Especially people, like, who continually spend money in this game. You're just telling them, no, we want more of your money. We want more. And it's like, dog, like, please. Like, I... <laughs> it's it's really funny to me. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all these things are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point. Let me know your thoughts about the transmog. I'm pissed off about it, but at the same time whatever this is bungie this is how they do it at this point i'm just gonna get the two the two uh, limitation things and then i'm probably just gonna forget about it i'm gonna probably do my favorite armor pieces and then after that be like like i legitimately have to make a list of what armor pieces i'm gonna have to do first which is unfortunate because i didn't want to do that but we live in this world where bungie likes to fuck over the community a lot so yeah like it honestly what like if you ask me like what, what do you think they did this on purpose i think what like this is like this is me being like truthfully honest i think they're doing all of this shit so that way they can fix it later they're creating problems so that they can have a solution or they they can like have a solution later essentially like oh we guys heard you loud and clear we're not gonna do this scummy shit so that way they can earn brownie points I don't think they needed to earn brownie points. This season was going off pretty well. Uh, no one's been having any major complaints, and like from from what I've been reading and seeing in the in the internet, it's like like y'all didn't need to put this problem on your hands, but now everyone is just like really going off the hinges off it, and it's like uh, every time every every day I play this game, it just. I get more embarrassed that I play this game. So be safe, guys. You know what's happening in the world, and I'll see you guys.